It's time to get moving with PBS Kids. One, two, one, two, one. Oh, hi there. Okay, let's start moving our arms up and down like this. And side to side. Bend those knees, too. Bend and push. Bend and push. Good work, everyone. And second, let's jump and stretch your arms like this. That's it. Hip, hip, hooray! And jump, jump, jump. You're excited and you're moving. Great! And third, we're gonna move our arms like a swimmer. Follow me. Reach out and push the water behind you. That's it. And nicely done, everyone. Let's take a moment to breathe. <sighs> if you want, go ahead and do it again. See you next time. Uh, gotcha. Hey, you're not my hedgehog toy, but you sure are a great toy. Hi, Cleo. Cleo, you found my bunny squeak toy. Uh, Mrs. Diller just uh, bought this toy for me. Oh. Sometimes it seems like making up a story will make things turn out the way we want them to. Um, I don't really feel like playing right now, guys. But most of the time, it's a much better idea to just tell the mm. truth. T-Bone, wait. This is your bunny squeak toy, T-Bone. But you said Mrs. Diller just bought it for you. I made that up. The toy belongs to you. Thanks, Cleo! Telling the truth isn't always easy. But it is always the right thing to do. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be truthful. Clifford is funded in part by a Ready to Learn grant from the U.S. Department of Education from the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS stations from viewers like you. Thank you. Clifford and his friends just love playing games, so come on! You can play with them, too! You can jump rope with a hose, you can put on funny clothes, you can play a game of skill, you can even roll uphill! Get it, Clifford! So let's play with Clifford the Big Red Dog, <laughs> only on PBS Kids! Remember, it only takes a little to be big. PBS Kids provides wonderful support and resources for teachers. One of the first things that I like to work on is learning how to communicate, how to solve a problem using your words. Hi, neighbor! I use Daniel Tiger in the classroom all the time. I absolutely think that PBS Kids is a valuable and credible source to use as an educator. The kids like to watch it, the kids like to do it, and it's learning, real learning. What's your favorite PBS Kids game? Mine is the monster at the end of this game. Does that mean this game? Grover doesn't want you to play, so he keeps hiding the green arrow, but I always find it. Download the free PBS Kids Games app on your device today. Clifford says be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library to discover all kinds of books, both big and small. Dig up more fun with Clifford and his friends at pbskids.org. I'm Amy, and I love astronomy. Astronomy is the science of trying to understand, well, how the whole universe works. All of the things that are in it. You, me, the stars, the planets, the galaxies, everything. My job is super fun. Most days, I look at pictures that come off of a space telescope. See there? <laughs> and you get to see things that nobody has ever seen. That's an amazing feeling. I got interested in astronomy when I was pretty little, about six or seven. I saw a picture of a galaxy. And I thought to myself, what is that? It was so beautiful, I had to know more about it. If you like asking questions and you like understanding how things work, well, that's science. So if you want to be a scientist, all you have to do is keep asking questions. What's that blue marble way back there? I'm really lucky that I get to do what I love. And you can do that too. You did it again, you amazing cat. I'm an astronomer. What do you want to be? Go 
is made possible in part by a cooperative agreement with the U.S. Department of Education, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting's Ready to Learn grant, and by viewers like you. Thank you.